my way! To fly today, you can return to Richmond with me. Tony, I just need a moment. After all you've been through, no one will think worse of I you. Would... I would think worse of me. I have an agreement with Mr. Glacier. You barely know the man, and the little you do, you're irritated by. Antonio, please. I just need a moment. One last piece of sisterly advice. Doubt is there to be listened to. but that's the least of your concerns. We'll lose the light, John. James, do the clouds not look ominous to you? I repeatedly explained to Miss Wren the importance of catching the right light and the right wind at the right time, and she's James, just openly ignored me. look up. It's not a concern, John. The readings I took this morning were quite clear. Far be it for me to doubt you, James, but your weather predictions have been wrong in the past, and it's just possible that you've Don't even think of it. Oh. Ned Chambers. John True, my very good friend. John, this is Ned. One of the hardy entrepreneurs who's invested in our expedition. Do not even think of telling me flight is not possible. Mr. Chambers, we are scientists of the air, and we can tell you the one thing no one can control is, well, the air. I have paid for gas, I have paid for silk. And is this balloon not the strongest and largest that's ever been? Even so, it can't fight the weather. You don't want to be responsible for a tragedy, sir. I don't wish to be responsible for refunding the 10,000 that came here because you promised them history. We'll fly, Ned. We'll fly. I only need the sky to hold for 90 minutes, and once I'm above the cloud line, we'll be fine. Good. That's fixed, then. Now, did you not promise me a five o'clock ascent? I'm set. I'm merely waiting for a pilot. And it's not the first time Miss Wren has kept me waiting. <laughs> what a truly pleasant man. One must make compromises in order to achieve greatness, my friend. The key is merely one compromise.
creatures of the skies and have no respect for landlocked clocks. Mr Glacier, are you really not a gentleman at all? Hold out your hand to me. Glacier, you have no conception of how ready I am. Woo! Oh!